The following video is a school project for the general biology subject. In this project, we're tasked to perform a series of experiments that involve enzymatic browning. Enjoy. Hey guys, have you ever wondered why potato slices turn brown once you cut them? Or why a yellow banana gets those dark brown spots over time? Well, both of these phenomena have the same cause, and it has a name. It's called enzymatic browning. As the name suggests, it's the process of browning caused by an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase. Probably butchered the pronunciation. To put it simply, it is an oxidation reaction that takes place in mostly fruit and vegetables in which oxygen in the air causes sliced food to turn brown. And in this video, we'll see this process in action with some experiments. Here's how it went. Here we go. First, I filled the pot with tap water. Then I placed it on the stove and heated it until boiling. Afterwards, I took one of my bananas, and as you can see, its peel is pretty yellow. Mostly. It has a big brown spot on it. Oh well. Then I took it to the stove and carefully dipped the bottom third of the banana into the boiling water for about 30 seconds. Ah, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot. I should've worn gloves. On the 30 second mark, I took it out of the water and it looks like this. There's some graying here and darkening here. And then, after cooling it down for 3 minutes, it looks like this. A little darker and not any softer or harder. And then, when I peel it and see the food inside... Interesting. Wow, no difference! <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> I thought the heat from the boiling water would also affect the inside and not just the skin. But it looks like the opposite is true here. It's very good. Enzymatic browning in action! Now, enough about bananas. It's potato time. First, I cut two slices from a potato on a cutting board. A little uneven, but that's fine. <laughs> Looks good. Looks yellow. I then place the slices on their sides and pierce one of them with a fork several times. I may have done it too much though. And then we'll check up on them in a few minutes. Alright, after 15 minutes, we can now see some changes here. For some, they both look a little paler than earlier. And, as you can see, this one that I poke with a fork looks browner than the other one. And at 20 minutes, we can now clearly see that the browning of the poked one is darker at the holes. Meanwhile, the non-poked one's browning is not as significant. Enzymatic browning in action! For this next part of the experiment, I prepared 4 liquids. Milk, vinegar, lemon juice, and water. And then, I cut 5 more slices from the potato and sprinkled each liquid to each of the first 4 slices, leaving the last one as is. Afterwards, I pierced all the slices with a fork several times. Now, I was afraid the liquids I poured onto the slices splashed away while I was poking them. So I poured the liquids again just to be sure. We'll then check up on them in a few minutes. 15 minutes later, there seems to be not much of a difference throughout all 5 slices. 5 minutes later, at 20 minutes, also no significant difference other than the milk changing the color of the slices. At this point, I thought I messed something up. I thought me pouring the liquids again after piercing compromised the result. So, I decided to put these slices aside and do the experiment again, but this time without the additional pouring as instructed. Also, I was having trouble with slicing them evenly. And while waiting for the 15 minutes, the camera ran out of battery. So, after briefly charging it for about 20 minutes, this is how the slices look like. Still just about the same. <laughs> now, I thought I did something wrong here again. However, I had no other choice but to wait a little longer. And this time, we can definitely see something. Three and a half hours later, this is how they look like, including the previous attempt and the previous part. As you can see, some slices still have some white on them, probably because of that milk spilling on them. Probably. And due to enzymatic browning, some slices have turned so dark that they look black. The first and fifth slices are the ones with a significant difference. However, the slices poured with vinegar and lemon juice seem unaffected. Now honestly, this came as a surprise to me. I hypothesized that the acidity of the vinegar and lemon juice would probably speed up the browning. Turns out I was wrong, and the opposite is true. <laughs> Apparently, the acid and pH in vinegar and lemon juice prevents polyphenol oxidase to react with oxygen, and therefore slows down or stops enzymatic browning. Enzymatic browning not in action. Oh. Now, for this last part of the experiment, 
we're gonna go back to our fried bananas. Now instead of heating them up like last time, this time we're exposing them to cold. What I did was I took two bananas, left one as is, and put tape on the other one. Now we have a variety of tapes here in my house and I thought it may have different effects. So I took some scotch tape, some packaging tape, and some duct tape and I wrapped parts of the banana by it. Then I put both bananas in the fridge and I'll check up on them every day for the next few days. A day later, both bananas are seemingly starting to brown a little bit. The next day rolls in and the brownie continues to darken the bananas, especially the tips where I tore the bananas from the hand. I also noticed that the scotch tape seems to not do anything to the peel. The thing is, I hypothesized that the tape will cover up the parts of the banana's skin and therefore will probably not be affected by the enzymatic browning. And finally, on day 3, I decided it's time to see what's under the tape. As expected, the bananas are browner than yesterday. And when I tore off the tape, it's still about the same. <laughs> Although there are some small color differences here and there, but it seems to smudge away with some rubbing. Hypothesis proven wrong once again. <laughs> so if you've ever wondered why fruits brown when you leave them out for too long, it's because of enzymatic browning. And the next time you up a little snack with some fruit, you can sprinkle stuff like lemon juice to make it not brown as quickly. Not only that, it makes it taste somewhat better. Yum! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. God bless and goodbye.